Okay, let's see what it looks like out there. <laughs> Hello, how are you keeping? I hope you're keeping well and safe. This is our first morning here because we came in last night. And it's an overnight uh, stay situation in Tenerife. So we still have the same views <laughs> as you can see. Um, we'll be leaving for breakfast shortly and hopefully i'll be showing you the other side of the view so that side is more of the seaside of the view we have the land and it's spectacular as you can you would have already seen yep it is spectacular so i'll see what today is like definitely we are going to tenerife because this is our chance our only chance actually we return here at the end of our cruise but I don't know what the dynamics is in terms of catching our flights uh, because they are meant to transfer us to the airport and all of that. So this is our best day to explore Tenerife. We leave 10 p.m. tonight to um, Madeira, our next port of call. Our first night, it was nice, cooling, refreshing. Now, I didn't get a chance to do proper tour because, like I said in my previous video, this is a vintage cruise ship. So it's seen quite a few years. As opposed to the other two that we've cruised on, uh, the Irubia MSC and uh, Avia of Piano. Uh, this is Azura Piano as well, but it's an older ship. There's quite a bit I still need to discover. So at some point, I'll be bringing you videos of the different decks, especially the prominent ones, which is 6, 7, um, 15, and 16, and whatever else I think you will find interesting. Otherwise, also leave in the comment section for me what you would like to see. Hopefully, if I don't get it covered in this video, then I know what to cover for my next cruise, which is loading not too long from here. Anyway, <laughs> it's only day two. Let's deal with today and we can talk of the next cruise. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I'll show you what I'm looking at. Look at that hill. It is really beautiful. Not the warmest of days. Trust me, it's a bit cloudy as you can see. But from what we are coming from in the UK, give me this. Like you can see, I'm very comfortable in my night dress. It's a cotton dress. And I could sit out here without feeling any form of nippiness, even though the cloud looks like it's clouding. <laughs> yeah, but there's still a blue sky showing there. I can't wait to cross over to see what's happening there. Last night, because it was an overnight, there was a whole lot of outward bound people were leaving the ship to see nightlife, but we couldn't be asked. We are very tired and we wanted a bit of rest. And the other thing, that's uh, yesterday, I think I pointed out to you. So it's two days of embarkation. We came in yesterday. So those buses there are bringing people from the airport and wherever else they are coming from to board or to disembark. So this overnight stay in, I'll turn the camera so you can see me while I explain. So this overnight stay here in Tenerife, there are two embarkation days. We came in on the Friday, which is the first embarkation day. And today, more people are joining us on this cruise, um, which is the second embarkation day. Not for us, for those coming. After that, we we, uh, we sail away today at 10 p.m., like I said earlier. And that is the beginning of our other ports of calls. And on return, for those of us who embarked on a Friday, we'll be leaving the cruise ship on Friday on arrival later that day. For those who embarked today, which is Saturday, they will have their own overnight experience of Tenerife and on Saturday morning they will be disembarking. So there are two embarkation days on this cruise and two disembarkation days. Well, we'll see how that is. This is my first one to experience an overnight stay in a particular port. So I like as much as it was our first day, so we're too tired to go explore. I'm hoping for another cruise where it will be our first embarkation day to have the overnight. It would be nicer if it was the next port. Then we would have gained fully 
our sea legs <laughs> ready to explore but right now we are still coming from land so we still have the land fetish on us <laughs> we were too tired to do the night exploration yesterday so keep on watching remember to take one step at a time wherever you are at now and don't forget that life is for living for love and laughter anything outside of that please don't be discouraged just take one step at a time and you get there anyway see you later breakfast time a typical morning on the corridor will look like this because the um, housekeeping is going on so you see the laundry see can't says make me up yep yeah. it will work for me yeah, breakfast time. Yeah, cleaning is going on everywhere. So, typical morning. One unique thing I loved about Piano Azura is the artwork that hung round about the stairways. They were really heartwarming. And I did a full video where I took some exercises along the stairways just to capture some of the beautiful stunning artwork hanging around watch out for that video welcome to the little deck deck 15 that houses the two outdoor swimming pools on piano azura and the buffet remember we are on our way to the buffet so view <laughs> If you have been following my vlog, you already know what this is. Peanut butter for breakfast. So that bread will get a companion. So I've managed to get this for breakfast before we hit the street. So the buffet station on Piano Azura has a very unusual layout. A kind of spiral layout that makes it a little bit challenging to navigate around especially when there are quite a few people trying to get something to eat at the same time so i decided to pick up everything i needed so i didn't have to go over and over again because it was quite tight navigating through the available space but nevertheless the egg was well cooked and i'm happy with my choice at a later video i'll be uh, showing you a full tour of the buffet space and what is available so don't forget if you have not subscribed subscribe like put on your notification bell so you don't miss a thing and leave a comment for me while we're doing that let's enjoy this breakfast after breakfast we hopped on the lift um, to the atrium to see what was happening there at the same time i also wanted to nose around a little bit to see what this Gorgeous vintage ship has in stock for us. Are you ready for a little walk outdoors on the promenade of Piano Azura? If you're ready, then put on your shoes. Let me take you there. I'll take you there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fresh air. So, this is the old promenade. Well, I call it old because. <laughs> It's an older ship, a vintage, I prefer the word vintage, because it has its beauties. Oh, so. <laughs> so, are you ready for the walk, the promenade walk? Okay, let's go. We are on the opposite side of the ship, you remember? So this is the other side. So this is what the views they have from their own balcony. We have the land views. As we take this prominent work on Piano Azura, I'll just give you a little bit of information about Piano Azura. Piano Azura was built in 2010. These are the lifeboats hanging up by. This is life jacket stations, apart from the ones in our room. It can contain up to 3,100 passengers and 1,200 crew members. So it can take up to 
4,400 persons thereabouts. Hi! <laughs> um, it was last refurbished in 2020. It has five outdoor pools. It has an indoor pool and a spa, a casino, lots of um, specialty dining areas, including Sindhu, Oriental Restaurant and Peninsula. It has a theater called the Playhouse and a lot of other bars and entertainment spaces, including Malabar, Broody's, which is a pub, and so on and so forth here. Yeah. Because it is a 2010 cruise ship, that's why I call it a vintage ship. Nevertheless, it's well maintained and I really love it. So this is the back, the aft of the ship. You know the dining, we were up in 15. Yeah. Uh -huh. Terminal. So, people are coming and going. back to our side of the ship our balcony remember facing here so we are somewhere right up here Still the terminal, and these are people coming back on the cruise ship. We can equally go back into the ship through here. I think there's a barricade somewhere, so we might have to come past these double doors anyway. I'm still passing one of them lifeboat to house. It's a barricade, so we can't go right around. The deck was closed because they were doing some work, some painting and fixing of stuff. It's not unusual whenever cruise ships are docked for overnight or lengthy period of time to have some work done, some facelifting work done. Yep, going back in because we can't cross beyond this point. Hi! Oh, careful! <laughs> okay. Oh, I love those frames. Look at the frames on these stairways are just. Look at that. This is Promenade Deck 7, we are on. Hello! Look at those frames. They are absolutely beautiful stunning frames. And the stairways. Remember to watch out for that video. I actually 
yeah, covered a whole lot of the frames that was there just to show you the ambience. It was beautiful. Hello, I'm back. So we've had breakfast. We had a bit of, uh, I think today has been a little bit of uh, a downtime, lazy time. We're not in a hurry, but we know we have to go explore uh, Tenerife before we lose the opportunity. So we've had breakfast. We had a bit of a sit down on the other side of the ship, looking out to the sea. Um, had a cup of tea while we just watched the world go. Um, now we're ready to hit the streets of Tenerife. And for sure, you know I'll bring you along. It's just about quarter to one p.m. in the afternoon. Like I said, we are here till 10 p.m. But we'll go out for about three, four hours and we'll be back on the ship to prepare for the evening. Let's go! Loading next is our full Tenerife experience on this particular day. While you're waiting for that, don't forget to click on these videos popping up. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Subscribe if you've not so you don't miss a thing. Like, leave your comments. I love to hear from you. Until then, remember to live, love, and laugh. <laughs> Bye.